to Cooking with Sarah. Now, um, you might be saying to yourself, hey, isn't that a new kitchen? Why, yes. Yes, it is a new TV kitchen. Uh, why is it a new TV kitchen? Well, because this is a whole new world. This... Let's see, am I in creative? I am in creative. Good. So I don't get jacked here. This is my new tree kitchen. Now, Sarah, you say, um, I've never seen a tree like that in Magic Farm. What's going on here? Welp, this is the Magic Farm 3 Dev Pack. And I'm just going to leap over the counter like a wild animal here. There we go. Um, this is the Magic Farm 3 Dev Pack. This is in testing right now. It's a private pack. Um, I will put a link to the forum uh, topic where you can find that code if you'd like to try it out as well. But <clears throat> the uh, big thing in Magic Farm 3 is Mind Fantasy has gone away. I screwed that up. I get no CD about my decorations here. Uh, Mind Fantasy has gone away. It has been replaced with Tinker's Construct and Natura, or Natura, or however you pronounce that. If I'm slaughtering the name of the mod, please let me know, for God's sake. Anyway, um, the big thing that this changes is iron is no longer so hard to get a hold of. You can still make vanilla tools at this point. That is likely to change in the future, though. <coughs> Pardon me. But, at least now, you don't have to build 15 weird machines to get a bunch of iron to make your cookware so you don't starve to death. You can also make your buckets easier now. So, the other thing you may notice is what's not in my TV kitchen. <laughs> There's no furnace here. Now, um, in a parallel world, i.e. another world that I started up with the same seed. I moved into this tree and I hollowed it out. I got all my stuff in there and I plopped a furnace down and set it to smelt some of the logs that I got out of here into charcoal while I ran off to do some other stuff. I came back not five minutes later. This poor tree turned into the towering inferno. Apparently vanilla furnaces are now a fire hazard. Now, um, I'm not sure whether that's a bug or a feature. It's, it does act a little strange in that it doesn't seem to burn crafting tables, chests, beds, any other kind of wooden stuff that's around it. It just burns planks and logs and structures. So, um, I don't know if, how that's going to play out in the future, but just to be safe, no furnaces in the kitchen. Now, how, how are you supposed to cook without a furnace? Well, Tinker's Construct has that covered with the frying pan. And just shift right or shift right click on a surface and I love that noise. Oh, I'm need to get out of creative. There we go. I'll just throw this extra one away. There we go. This is an iron cooking pan. Good old cast iron cooking pan with a wooden handle. You can also make them out of stone. It looks exactly the same when you put it down. And just like a furnace, let's get some meat here. Actually, I'm going to save a raw beef. I'm going to get a bread. There we go. Put your coal in. Put your food in. And we'll let that cook for a minute. It, it works just like a portable furnace. With a bonus that you can also beat the hell out of stuff with it. So you can go chase your pig down, beat it to death with a frying pan, and then cook it in that same pan. It's great. Very convenient. And of course, um, all your regular cookware here does not actually require the furnace anyway. So you're in good shape there. Your sink is still there. So if you need your water in your kitchen, you still do that. Or you can still do the aqueous accumulator and the tank or the vanilla infinite water source, however you want to do that. Looks like our stuff's almost done here. There we go. Toast, steak, kapor chop, chicken, and still cooking some other stuff. 
So I'll just throw this back in the fridge. Doop. Doop. Another thing here you, that's going to help save your butt early on. Wheat can now be crafted into wheat flour. Now this can't be used to make fish sticks, all the other kind of stuff that um, your flour that you grind in a mortar and pestle can, but you can take that wheat flour and throw it in a furnace or in a frying pan and it will make bread. This funny looking thing here is barley. It is very similar to wheat, as it says in the tooltip there. It seems to grow faster than wheat. In fact, it grows much faster than wheat. And also, we'll go one to one. Flour. And get this cooked stuff out of here. Whoops. And I'm out of coal. I'll just... Do, 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 do. Oops, I found some coal on the floor. There we go. So, even if you don't have a furnace in your kitchen, you can still cook your food. Just set that skillet right on the counter, throw some coal in it, off you go. And, since leather is easier to get a hold of now, and buckets are easier to get a hold of now, your dairy is going to be an option much earlier in the game than it used to be. You take your milk, you take your leather, you get yogurt. Ooh, I got a crap load of yogurt. You can eat your yogurt plain. Or you can have strawberry yogurt. Or kiwi yogurt, or pretty much any fruit yogurt you want. Oh, oops. Well, I'm gonna have to see how you do vanilla yogurt, because obviously you don't do that the same way. Let's put that away. And finally, you notice I've got this hamburger chilling in my hot bar there. You take that bread we toasted up a minute ago. Take a piece of oops, come back here. Piece of raw beef. Doop doop doop. No, not you. Toast. Oh, I'm doing this totally wrong. I'm using the wrong frying pan. <sighs> Let's use this skillet. There we go. Since bread is going to become available much earlier, thanks to barley, all your sandwiches and burgers and fish sandwiches and stuffed mushrooms and anything that uses bread or toast or anything like that is going to become available earlier on. I get my frying pan here. And I go head outside here. I'm back in survival. That's okay. Yeah, I actually flew up to the top of this thing last night. It's ridiculous. But I'm just going to hop back in here. And that is pretty much it for our little preview of Magic Farm 3. I hope you enjoyed it. And please do remember, anything that I say about Magic Farm 3 is subject to change at any time. Um, like that business with the furnaces. Like I said, I don't know if that's a bug or a feature. And if, you know, the Tinker's Construct Smeltery doesn't set the sur set surrounding stuff on fire, I don't know why a furnace does. Anyway. TLDR. Everything I am saying here is subject to change at any time. And if anything significant comes up between now and the actual release, of course I'll let you know about it. But that is it for today. And if there's any kind of specific cuisine you'd like to see me do here, please let me know. I'll see what I can squeeze in for you. And that is all for today. I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you next time. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.